This is a Behringer CS100 compression pedal. See, it's, this is the output, and there's the input and the power. And if you look, then the newer compression pedals, because this one's discontinued, the newer one is essentially the same thing, except it doesn't have the level. So it's just, it's close to what the original input is. Whereas this one, you can adjust, which personally I like that better. And it has the level tone, attack, and sustain. And that's just there because I didn't take it off to show you, but it just sits really bright. So I just put that on there. And like for a stomp box, it's still right. It's not as good as that one. But at the same time, you know, it's a stomp box. It's just, it's basic. They all, they all are going to be to some extent. Now just to show you how this thing works. See, first of all, the level right here, so all it does, it just basically a gain. Once I turn it on. See, for the, the new one, Baron Jerry took that off, I guess, thinking that you keep it at the same level as the input, and then, you know, that's good enough. But sometimes it is nice, depending on your what settings you have you could get a particular tone that you like that um you know could cha change the level and you might want to adjust it or even you, some people use it compression as like a boost so you don't know what the tone does here that's you know it's pretty self-explanatory See, it's just like a tone on a guitar. Then attack, that adjusts once it gets past the desired level, how fast does it react? So if the attack is on maximum, it'll be instant response. If it's on minimum, it'll take a little bit longer. But that also changes your tone a little bit, so you don't necessarily want it right on max all the time. Like, let me show you. If you go well, if you go all the way, it flattens out the tone. But with that, you can then use your tone, the tone knob to compensate. See, see, in like a setting like this, the volume, see, it lowers the volume a little bit. So that's when you use this to compensate. And sustain, and that um, sets at what volume level you want it to engage at. So if you change that, so if you change it to maximum, it'll it'll compress it a lot, like it'll higher volumes it'll engage, or if it's minimum, that it's used more if you just want it as like a, like, like I use it more just to back up to, to not clip your speakers. But, to max again like all the other knobs it does change your tone as you can see right at maxi see now and again if you do that you don't have to change a level so although so it takes a little bit of so it takes a little bit of playing to get it where you want for just a stomp box you know it's it's okay <coughs> I mean, I use this on stage maybe two or three times while I was saving up to get my rack. But, I mean, you could still, it's not that bad. It just depends on exactly what you want out of it. If you want it to change your tone, or do you want it as a, bit, as a backup? So, all in all, it's alright. I mean, new, it's around $50. But this one, and... 
the newer version alike. So, I mean, depending on how... To pay for it, I'd recommend it. That depends on what you're using it for. If you're using it to adjust your tone, then no, not so much. But if you're using it just basically as a backup, you want very limited compression, and then this is really all you need. So, that's it.